All right, I know everyone's been waiting for me to drop this. I and I've seen a, a few of the people's tier lists. Dude, they're god awful. Especially Pat's, but I, I love Pat's to this. But they suck, dude. Bro, when Pat put Roaring Moon and Iron Valley in B, this sh was cooked. So I have to change this. I have to be the avatar, bro. All right, let's go, let's go. Honestly, I like Sprig a lot. I think Sprig is amazing. It was the best starter that I chose of the three. I enjoy Sprig greatly. I think Sprig is S tier. I said it. I think Sprig is S tier. I love cats. What do you want me to say? Keep making cat Pokemon. But uh, Flora Gato, I think is the name. I like it. Controversial a little bit. It's in a like. I mess with it. I like it a lot. And Meow Scarada grew on me a lot. When I first saw Meow Scarada, I thought it was over, dude. I told myself, wow, man, these leaks don't look too hot right now, man. This mon is cooked. This mon is done. I didn't mind if this mon stood up as long as it looked good like Incineroar. I thought I lost. I thought it was it. But no, we're good. We're good. Cats still stand uh, true. We're good. Meow Scarada is hella OP. Hella cool, like I'm, I'm, I'm cool with it. Fue Coco, come on, man. This is the easiest S you ever seen in my entire life, bro. Like this guy is Totodile, but cuter. Cause Totodile is cooler, but this guy is Totodile, but cuter. Look at this face and tell me you'd put him anywhere below S tier, bro. Like he, uh, yeah. What is this? Uh, Crocolore? Yes, I'm a virgin. I know all the names. It's all right. I think people are hating on it. Or, uh, I don't get the hate. Some people are like, oh, it's all the way down here. Like it's down here. I personally think it's all right. I don't think it's God tier. I don't think it's like. Delphox tier. You know what I mean? It's just all right. It's just all right. Like some people are like, oh, well, it's a sombrero. It's a nest. It's literally both. Can you not have two and one? What happened to that? Head and shoulders, people be like. Uh, Skeledurge? <laughs> He's raw, dude. Skeledurge is raw, dude. Anywhere below it is trolling. Skeledurge is raw, bro. I had time to process this as well, too, because these games have almost been up for a month. Skeledurge is raw, bro. And he's actually so annoying and competitive. Unaware? At first, I thought he was like the worst of the three. Unaware, he's cooked. He gets his. He's good for one, bro. Quaxi, I like. I like Quaxi. I think a lot of people put in Quaxi. Quaxi, like an eye or whatever it is. Like, I think there's Quaxi haters for sure. Uh, they think it's a humanoid duck. Dude, it's literally a duck. It is probably the most simple design out of all the base ones because it is literally a duck with nice hair, but I like it. Quack Quavel, I know it was the final. What is the mid one called? Quack Swell. <laughs> Quack Swell. Like Maxwell? <laughs> Nah, bro. Hey, hell nah. Sorry, Quaxwell. I can't rock with it, bro. I, I, I don't, I don't like. I've never been wild about the ultra posh mods. I'm sorry if this is a miss, but I, I can't, man. Quaxwell is a no for me. It's a no. It could be deleted tomorrow, and I'm fine. But Quaxwell, S tier. He's the goat. I'll be the first to say it. S tier. The man is zesty. The man brings us spice and new levels. And he's fun as shit and competitive. He's like Blaziken, but like, you know, Limpress, you know? I love Quack Quavel, bro. I think I really fell in love with it with how goofy it is. I love it. I do. I love it. Lechonk is it. Lechonk is it. Lechonk is it. I like Lechonk. Lechonk is it. But dude, it's evolution Winkalone. Wow. Fell off. And uh, I don't, the gender, what well, this is the male one, the female one. No, I, I just like what a flop. And it's also just not that good. Like it feels like a worse line noon in every way. It's not even fun to use playthrough wise or competitive wise. And the design is lackluster. I, I, but I get what they're going for. Like something like, oh, like I smell great for a pig. Tarantula, love, love this thing. It's so cute. I love it. It's shiny is ridiculously insane. I love the thing. It's this cute little spider that comes down the, uh, uh, the tree. I love it. But people that are arachnophobes are probably like, bro, get it away from me. Bro, it's not the mon. It's you. You have arachnophobia. It's not the mon. It's you. I like it. It, it. It's cute. It's cute. I like it. I might be checking out a little too much. I brought a mid. But it's evolution spite ops. I could sit here and give you a hundred million reasons why this mod is awful. Spite ops is the ugliest, disgusting, putrid, worst mon I have seen in a long time. This mon is so fu dude. Like, I, I, I genuinely feel like Game Freak is like racist against Spite Ops. There's no way they willingly designed a mon that looks this ass and is competitively this ass. Like, dude, it's a two for one. This mon is so shit, bro. Let me show you how awful this mon is for all you Copium Connors. Look at these fucking stats. Oh, wow, it has one green bar. It's good. It's a pure bug type. It is a pure bug type. This mon is so shit. If you like the design, that's fine. I don't know how, but that's fine. But there's, I will not sit here and let anyone try and tell me that this mod is good. Nimble? Yeah, I, I mean, it's just a grasshopper. Like, yeah. I, but low kicks, low kicks is him. Low kicks is him, bro. Low kicks is he. He's a chainsaw man, dude. But a grasshopper. It looks badass. 
is actually kind of strong. It's amazingly strong with Terra. It's actually purely carried off Terra, but it's fun AF, bro. Ace just, why would you choose Spinoffs over him? I, I, I don't know why you would choose Spinoffs uh, over him. Okay, let's go to uh, Pommy, the Pommy line, huh? All I'm gonna say is why do three of them exist? I don't know how to rank these mods because they all look the same. Except for the final, who looks the most different. This is Pommy, but stood up. And he became a light skin. Like, why is there three of them? There should just be one. A little bias here. Pommot? I'm gonna actually put Pommot that I like. And here's why. I not only spent two hours, two hours trying to obtain this mod, but at the same time as well, too, it's definitely like, like the better of the three. You know, like I I, I do like this. Is is that like, I would probably do it like this. Like, okay, Pomod is like, all right. Like he's all right. If I do good, this will be an all right. There we go. Let's switch it up like that. There we go. This like, I respectfully, even now that the game has been out for a month, this does not look like a Pokemon at all. And then he becomes electric fighting for the second one. I don't, it's like a starter Pokemon. This is 85. Wait, what? The thing with a Violet will go crazy. Wait, I'm going to use this mod in low tiers. Wait, what the f***? All right, um, let me speed through these because that one was Galarian Wooper. I mean, like, come on. It's Wooper you can't miss. And then Cloud Sire is like, just when I got scared, because usually when we get a regional variant, they don't evolve into the original Mon, right? Kind of like how we got Galarian Light and did not just stop. It evolved. I thought that maybe they're going to miss on the Evo. You can't miss on this design. Like, it doesn't matter if Wooper gets a 90 other variants. The Wooper line is impossible to miss. Wooper, goat. Cloud Sire, goat. It's hard to miss. It's hard. Yes, I, these are all three different mods down here. Yes, I know. It's insane. Tanta Mouse, Mouse Hold with four kids or two kids. Four of them, mouse hold with three. What is this mod? Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You, know, you know what's crazy? Asked me a month ago, and they would have been right down here. They would have been right down here. That ass. But it's like kind of stupidly funny. It, 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 it's stupidly funny, bro. Look, it's just a mouse. Man, what do you mean put it that low? Population bomb is what's up. But for the family? Yeah, because I, I think Crocolore is kind of deserves his own tier. I'll put him in good for now. For now. We'll adjust this later. I'll put it in good for now. But like, so the reason why I put the couple in question mark, uh, we'll put it in hell not tier. Bro, they have sex in front of you. I'm not even making this up. I'm not. The whole gimmick of Demon is that it has sex in front of you. They evolve randomly after level 25. And for Game Freak, once you're past the age of 25 is when you could start a family. If you're below 25 and you have 9 million kids, people are usually like, whoa, purely strictly speaking off Japanese culture here. So 25, they're like, all right, bro, go have, go start a family, bro. Your life is done. Start a family, bro. You're 25, grow up. So at 25, they just randomly evolve. You guys are not gonna like me on this. Okay, here comes my first hot take. No, um, I apologize. I do because I know everyone, everyone loves this mon. Everyone loves this mon. Not me. This mon is repulsive. It is ugly. It's not for me. All right. I, I, I got to be honest. I got to be honest, guys. I don't see it. What is this? It's, it feels trying like too hard to be cute. You can't be him. You'll never be him. It's OK that you're not him. The name is a good idea, though. The name is a good idea. And then Das Boon. I like Das Boon. He's a good boy. But yeah, you guys might not like this either. Um, this is the one, this is the one where I probably get canceled for. I probably get canceled for this one. I don't see the appeal of the mon. Anxious baby, small anxious baby that wants to be held. He's just like me for real. Sometimes. That's not gonna make me like the mon. I don't like mon, I've never liked mons like this. It's just a small olive. It's gonna be a no. And then Dolive, this is an abomination. This is one of the ugliest mons I've ever seen in my entire life. What am I looking at? Like, this is terrible. I was flabbergasted when I saw Game Freak create this abomination. I told myself and asked myself when I was in the shower, I looked myself in the mirror when I was done and I was like, Game Freak, would you really make a mon this bad? I asked myself. Afterwards, my pet cat came in, stood up in, on two legs and talked to me saying, Yes, nigga, they would. But our believer? She's her. She is her. Fucking love this mon. And you know what's crazy? When I first saw the leaks, I was not with the mon. I thought the mon was awful. I thought the mon was terrible. But then like, when you see them in game, it's a lot different, obviously, of course, right? So, and you know, this mon doesn't get talked about enough. Might be a little controversial. Nobody talks about this mon ever. Squawka Billy is the goat, bro. Are we just all gonna pretend like fucking fucking Jojo birds are not in this damn game, bro? Like that's probably my biggest hot take. All right, Minecraft. All right, this will be the weird. Um, let me not be here for an hour. Uh, 
I like them. And I like our Garnacle. I like them. I do. I like all three. I like all of them. I'm gonna I'm gonna change some of these guys. I'm gonna change some of these. I needed to move some of these. I like the knackles. I don't know how y'all say it, Gargarnacle. Oh my god, dude. Are we serious? This is actually top three mods from the game. If your tier list does not have an S tier peak levels of Anaya Peak, peak lape. Your opinion is uh, your opinion is automatically denied, bro. He's he's like ultra ego. Where this is a Dragon Ball, dude. He's so cool, bro. And he's broken to shit. I feel like as primate fans, we won. Like this is it. This is fucking it. Chest kiss. Chucker that is. <sighs> Dude, like, what do I say about- Okay, first off, let's put the goats, Armor Rouge, and Cyril Edge in S tier peak. Because, like, these mons, I'm still literally, like, I'm flabbergasted at Pokemon Company International Dev HQ International. Let's stop and think, is Game Freak gonna go beyond this? Can Game Freak peak further than these two? I don't know, bro. Like, they're both flames, bro. No pun intended. The thing is, those Char Cadet, man, like, he's just all right. Like, I just, he's a charcoal cadet. <sighs> it's just all right. Like, I don't, I don't really. Also, the Tapple, nah, I don't, I don't fuck with it. It's not cute enough. It's actually embarrassing that Billy Bull comes from this. That's probably really messed up. I don't care. Billy Bull is peak, though. He's a cute, chubby, huggable frog. I love frogs. I love him. So, he's amazing. And he's very squishable. And his eyes are right here, not here. But here, kill a Watchroll and what? Oh my God, <gasps> my babies, <laughs> my babies. <sighs> I love them. I love, I love, dude. These guys are amazing. I love them to death, dude. They're so adorable and I can swallow vibes off it, dude. They're amazing designs. All right. So it's been uh, revealed to me that Game Freak has finally listened to the fans and has given Dunsparce an evolution. And um, there's many people, many people who have been commenting and telling me, hey, Nexus, you don't know what you're talking about. It's a joke. That's why it looks like that. It's a joke. The, mo the Mon's entire existence has been shriveled down to a joke a meme and a bad one at that as well too right for whatever reason people love this mod like it already wasn't awful people look at this and say hey why won't we just give it another torso and what can we do to make it even rarer another torso this is literally one of the worst creations i've ever seen in my life its stats are actually quite impressive though 125 180 75 it's quite impressive it's quite impressive with serene grace it's quite impressive but actually more embarrassing is the word than spite ops. Why do you exist? Like it, it is, it is an atrocity to us as real players. This is no longer a real game. This is a game breaking mod, dude. Like it's embarrassing this mod exists in my $60 paid for bot video game. It's impressive that it exists, bro. It's impressive. And I notice everyone will be like, oh, well you love this mod, bro. Like I love this mod. Why do you hate it? What I say should mean nothing to you. If you like this mod, that's fine. I will definitely laugh at you for liking this mod. But if you like this mod, that's okay. And then Forigaraf wins. I don't know where to put this mod. So I actually wanted a Giraffe Rig Evo for the longest time. And I'm gonna say it's good. Cause I saw it in game and it's actually gigantic, which is awesome because my problem with Giraffe Rig is it's a small giraffe. Similar problem in gen two with Dawn fan. That's an elephant, but a small elephant. So seeing this thing massive, pause is phenomenal. I love this mod. It does have a foreskin hoodie, but yeah, it's a cover for another day. Maybe I move it up. We'll see. Oh, my boys. My boss stiff is peak. What was the baby's Evo again? It's my, it's mischief. Like mischief. Nah, dude. These boys are peak. Actual peak, bro. Peak. I told you the baby. I like the baby more. I like the baby way, 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 way more, bro. If, you, if, if I probably did not play the game, I would have had this mod like right here. But obviously there's bias going into this that I played the game. So I'm going to put it in peak because I played the game. If I didn't play the game, I put it in good. But because I played the game, I put it in peak. Uh, no. Respectfully, why? Do, no, I'm sorry. This one is hideous. Like, it's awful. Like, it's like, no, it, it, it's bad. It's bad. It's bad. But Grafai, I, I love it a lot. But um, it's pre-evo, which, how, what? It's a lemur. How does it go from a mouse to a lemur? I'm not even going to think about it. I'm not. Gaming sometimes just does shit. A sloth went to a gorilla. So sometimes they just do stuff. But like, respectfully, no. Shrudel is an abomination. He should also not exist. All the Tauroses I love. Tauros looks way more, especially the fire one. Fire one is demonic AF, bro. I love the Tauroses. Gonna be honest, there's slight bias in this. If you guys remember my OG top 10 favorite Pokemon of all time, back when I was like 17, 18, when I made that video, Tauros was in that top 10. If you guys did not notice, I love Tauros. Tauros 
Taurus was like top 10 favorite mods for me from Gen 1, and at one point, top 10 of all time. I love Tauros. So when I found out Tauros was getting an evolution or like some sort of variant, I was like, dude, we're up. It was three variants, and two of the three are phenomenal. Obviously, you don't need to tell me, you don't need me to tell you which one blows. You know which one blows. But two to three are phenomenal. Um, no and no. We're not even gonna talk. Like, these things are hideous. It's a tumbleweed. I don't even know what we're looking at. It's just a tumbleweed. Like, this is what I, okay, respectfully, I normally have, ne you can look back at any reaction, any tier list. I have never once said Game Freak is running out of designs. Game Freak is lazy. I've never once said this. Even when they got mods like Bruxish, right? This is quite literally a tumbleweed. How do you like this mod? I don't want to, like, I, I mean this in the best way possible. Convince me. Toad's cool and Toad's cruel, though. Uh, love. Toad's cool is cool. Toad's cruel? Like a lot. I like it. Um, Cloth? He's all right. Cloth is all right. Like, it's, I, I know, like, people are like, oh, he's cute. Big, big, cute crab. He's just all right. Didn't really care about it. Cas Cascade, whatever it is. Um, respectfully, no. The thing is hideous. What? <laughs> like, oh! Dude, no. No. And Scovelin, raw as fuck. Love this guy. Raw as fuck. Don't care if you hate me for it. Raw as fuck. It's Prevo, though. Disgusting, putrid, an abomination, walking even. No. Um, Rabska and Relic Relicor. So when I found out, actually, that if you flip upside down, bro, this mon flipped upside down is where, like, you see its face. Like, somebody, look at it, look at it, look at its face. Like, somebody tweeted at me that, like, I, I have to turn my head. You know, but like if you feel like turn your head, this mon is like is his face and it looks derpy looking. But why this mon is like low key OP. Uh, not only does it have a great defensive stats, but when awful defensive typing is that it gets revival blessing on evolution. So it is strictly carried off that. So this mon, yes, it will actually have so it will never truly be unviable because it has raw blessing, you know, but it's typing is just god awful defensively. It's awful design wise, though, dude. I just didn't fucking care. I'm sorry. Like, I just, I, I just didn't care. Like, I just, no. Like, I'm going to be real with you guys. This was the, de before we go more deep into this, this was the decks that made me think that this is, this, like, I, I, I think this is one of the worst decks we've got in Pokemon in a long time. Is the better way I would put it. And that's just my opinion. I think this decks is where, like, it felt like some designs were, like, really peak, and then others were, like, wow, I've never seen something this awful in my entire life. Like, okay, like, this thing is, like, going to be a no. It, what is it? Flittle? For this thing is speed boost. <laughs> Wait, that thing is a little cup god. It has stored power. Does it get calm mind? <gasps> what? I'm about to sweep a little cup with this mon. What? Okay, yeah, no, dude, this thing is just. And it evolves at 35. Man, no way you're rocking with these stats at 35, dude. No way. As Spothra, though, fucking love. Don't care what you have to say about me. Don't care. Love is the sun. It's like, all right. It like gradually gets better. Like Tinka Tink is probably the worst one. It's kind of ugly. So it's an all right. But Tinkaton? Tinkaton is absolutely godlike. Tinkaton is amazing. It's easily one of the best times we've gotten in the last 10 years. Like if you go back from X and Y, because yes, X and Y is 10 years next year. Let's think about it, right? It's it's all the way from like Kalos region X and Y, all from X and Y to like Scarlet and Violet, all the games in between. It's really just one of the best designs. If you if, if anyone has this mod, like even in like an A tier or like in B tier, they're trolling. It, it, um, automatically, their opinion is lost. Right? Regardless if you disagree with me with some takes, like, oh, like Frigograph fans or Dashbun fans or Arbeliva fans, right? All three of you guys for each mon, right? Probably think this mon deserves to be an S tier. That's fine. That's fair. Whatever. But if you ever see anybody have like Ticketon and like B tier and like Annihilate and like C tier, dude, their opinion is washed, bro. Like, it's like, you, like, it, it, it is Winkaton, bro. Like, it is, it's the goat. The mon is the goat. I'm sorry. No, like, I'm sorry. You're weird. No. No, I'm sorry. These mons are hideous. It's disgusting. It's putrid. I was not really that big of a fan of Doug Trio anyway. I was not. He's like, Doug Trio is like the best of all the variants, though. I prefer Doug Trio over Wug Trio and fucking like Alola Doug Trio. Like, it's it's awful. It looks disgusting. It's just three dicks on a rock. Like, I'm good. Bombardier? Like, there's some people that try and be funny and be all like, I like Wiglet. Bro, we're laughing at you, dude. No. So, like, okay, Palafin's actual sprite is not here, like the zero to hero mode. But technically, one thing, maybe, maybe it's just me, and I, I get it. It's a little weird how Finizen and Palafin work because it's the exact same mon, but Palafin is the one that gets zero to hero. Finizen does not. Finizen has water veil. While this is at only 100 base speed and 100 HP, which is actually big because zero to hero only changes in all the stats in between. He doesn't get an increased speed or HP, just everything in between. So it's actually nuts as fuck that is 100 HP and 100 speed. But the problem is that it looks the same. Like, I thought it was weird when it evolved because I was like, wait, it looks the same. It has a hero form, which looks fucking godlike, by the way. 
So I don't know how to rate them. I'm going to just play it off like Palafin is the one with zero to hero form because no one's using Palafin without zero to hero. Finizen is cute. It's peak and Palafin is peak. Why? Because it's a dolphin. We finally got a dolphin Pokemon. It's goaded. Varum and Revavroom? It's just an engine. I don't care. I, I just, it, it's literally an engine. I, I could care less. I know when you see it in the wild, it's kind of cute with how it moves, but I, I don't care. Cyclizer, Cyclizer grew on me. He's just good. Cause like now that we know that Cyclizer is actually related to me, Rhydon and Coridon, because like Coridon and Rhydon, like, okay, you're willing to tell me. Okay, look at this, guys. Look at this. Look at these stats. Look at this, Mon. Look at these stats. Nuts. Look at this typing. Look at this ability. Nuts. You're telling me that like Coridon, since Coridon is older, he basically devolved into this. Coridon fell off. Then Cyclizer evolves into this. So I'm like, which ah, Maradon is fucking unbalancedly broken. So that's nuts. But Cyclops, he's just good. He's just alright. No. No, I'm sorry. It's 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 like an ugly looking worm. No. I'm sorry. It just it's just a worm. <laughs> it's I can't put it in hell that I was too mean. I'll put it in eye. It's I don't like the worm. I'm sorry guys. Um Glimet. Glamora? It's a prolapsed anus. It, it's literally an inside out asshole. And you tell me this is the champion's ace? Like, I just, I think I dislike it even more because it's the champion's ace. The champion is supposed to have like peak mons, right? Like, okay, it does not make sense that a champion's ace is a Pokemon that is strictly built off hazard control. I don't know, man. I just, I don't, I don't get it, bro. I don't get it. I'm sorry. This is peak. I'm going to say it. So Titan is fucking peak. So Titan is Chef's kiss. Fucking peak. I love this one. It's easily one of my all-time favorite ice types I've ever fucking seen. I love whales. I love whale Pokemon. This thing is a god-tier fucking snow whale. And he's actually busted as fuck. He's busted as fuck, too. Where's the toddle? Get your cute ass up there, bro! So the is crazy cute. I love him. He's like, nyah, nyah, nyah. <laughs> I love it. Uh, Gravard, this is also a peak. And Houndstone, also a peak. Don't care. Don't ask. This one be a little hot take. The Flamingo's just died. It's a Flamingo. But what they did is it's a Flamingo and your Amigo. That's why it also has the ability Co-Star, because you guys are friends. I'm good off it, bro. Like, it, it's just, it's just. But the thing is, though, is some people like it because it's like goofy and derpy, which is fair. Uh, King Gambit? No, this is him. This is fucking him. King Gambit is him. A top 10 Mon from Black and White somehow still retains top 10 best designs in this entire fucking game. Like, it's like King Gambit is him, bro. Before, I would have definitely put this on in like, like trash. I thought it was fucking ass. But now I just think it's like just, just all right. I say good ish because like I still personally don't give a shit about every mon that's like B below. You know what I mean? But it's just all right. Don Dozo. I love this mon. I do. But like, I also hate this mon because this mon is like a walking hate crime, right? Like he, oh, it's a really aggressive way to word it. He, like when you play this mon, he's unaware and he just, his play style is so cringe and toxic. His design is fucking awesome. And he's a false dragon. So technically speaking, if you guys don't know his lore, he is like a dragon. He's just not dragon typing. You know what I mean? He's kind of like Charizard and Gyarados where they're dragons, but not dragon. He's like a dragon catfish, but he's also like the Dawn. You know what I mean? Like he's the big guy. He's him as the little guy controls him. It's like big guy that's all, 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 all bronze, no brain, and little guy who has no bronze, but all brain. Tatsugiri, I like Tatsugiri. I, I like Tatsugiri. I like it. We're on the uh, uh, Paradox Monster, guys. We're on the Paradox. We'll do the pseudo right now. No, this is no, no. So if you saw my Twitter, I had a viral tweet about Frigibax where I said it's one of the most ugly designs I've ever seen in my entire life. A little hyperbolic because there is worse, but it's like actually like bottom five, bottom 10. Ugliest design mods I've ever seen in my entire life. Yes, it's on Bruxish tier. It's on Aromatisse tier. It's on Delphox tier. It's like horrendously ugly. I was flabbergasted that the baby pseudo is this. Like, and then everyone that tries to defend it is like, oh, well, it's supposed to be ugly. So then you agree. Like, it's just, no, it, it's, it's awful, man. And like, it's medieval is like, just all right. Like, I get what they were going for. It has potential to be cool, but then the face is weird. And then Baxcalibur, I like it. Um, definitely not one of my favorite pseudos. He's more on the end of the pseudos I care about less. I like him, I do, because he's a pseudo. His design is still cool. He's like Godzilla Spinosaurus. Glaive Rush, which my Godzilla movie fans know, is literally what Godzilla does in the movies. Where he's like upside down and like shooting at them. But like, when I think of pseudos and you think of badass, like we just came from Dragapult. So because we just came from Dragapult, we had high expectations. I'm gonna say we, but maybe a lot of people did, right? He's not Dragapult. Like, I don't think he's a bad design per se. Feels a little unfinished, but he's not like Dragapult, Titar, a uh, 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 fucking Hydreigon. You know what I mean? Like, like he's not them. He wishes he could be, but he's not them. But 
I still like him, and he's cool. Um, Great Tusk, this is fucking god tier design. It's a god tier design. I mean, I'm 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 so fucking biased on the Dom fans. I fucking love them. Like even Iron Treads, I fucking love. But Great Tusk is a cooler one. Don't care what you say about Iron Treads. It looks fucking weird. Don't care the Nask. I think it's fucking fire. Um, Screaming Tail. What? Dude, Scarlet has some weird ones, bro. You guys notice how all the competitively shit ones slash mid ones come from Scarlet? And Violet, technically speaking, only has one bad one. Uh, Brew Bonnet. Like, dude, no. I don't even like... Well, it looks cooler than Among Us. Top of the night. Fluttermane? I love you, Fluttermane. Slitherwing is peak. I'm sorry. Slitherwing is peak. Both Volcaronas are peak. You can't, you can never miss a Volcarona. It's like a mech Volcarona. I know everyone's gonna be like, well, it just looks like Volcarona. I don't know about you guys in chat, but like, okay, mechs are cool, right? If you guys watch like, like mech movies, Transformers, mech animes, right? Like, like, like Gundam and stuff. Mechs are cool. Mechs are actually cool. So when you see like an armor version of like something you already like, it doesn't deter from it. It's like a whole mech design on it. So when I saw a mechazoid Volcarona, I was like, what well, is this? Flames. I love this. So the wing is definitely the more uh, creative one. But it, it's flames. Sandy Shocks, I'm not gonna lie, kind of grummy, but like, I, I didn't know he had a tail. The tail is the reason why he's not in C tier, but I like it. Uh, Iron Bundle, you guys already know me. This is literally the number one mon from this game that's not a lie, Annihilate or a Ticketon. Like, it's just, like, if I were to order this, it'd probably be like, now this would probably be top five, like, in order. Maybe like top five. I'm sorry, Iron Bundle is him. Iron Bundle is my fucking boy. When I saw this mod, I love, dude, he's a little. Like, it is a little skiing stuff. He's in the sturdy, bro. Like, his design is cool. He's strong as fuck. Like, dude, I love... And the, the rise of Grace, the rise to Grace is insane. I'm on, like... Okay, look at this. I'm on, like, Delibird to get this variant because, well, yeah, they're just... It's, this mod is awful. And they give it hustle and insomnia. Why would you ever put this dog shit mod to sleep? It has vital spirit and insomnia because gotta keep that Christmas cheer. Can't fall asleep because you gotta get those presents. Christmas cheer. It's a dumb reasoning, but like it makes sense, right? But hustle is the ability, right? So I'm just like, it sucks. 55 base attack with hustle. And I have all showed up. Dude, you want to talk about a Delibird stand, bro? You can, okay, for my old ones that know, all of my YouTube videos back in the day when I was like a teenager, I would upload every Christmas. 12 days of Christmas showdown lives and it'll be snow teams with like a substitute focus punch hustle Delibird Like I ran the fuck out of Delibird. I use this mod in every way you possibly could choice specs Sub focus punch choice band hustle. I did everything you could with this mod. So like I genuinely enjoy this mod I genuinely like this mod. It's a fire design. So when I saw this I was like we won no longer are we clown for like in Delibird iron hands I'm a Hariyama stan. I've been a Hariyama stan since day one. Fucking love Hariyama. Fucking love Hariyama. Even when that bitch used her in the fucking Battle Frontier, I love Hariyama, dude. Go to with the sauce. Iron Jug, I'm sorry, man. Like, this was gonna be a little bit of a ranter. They found a way to make Hydreigon a fundamentally god tier mon based competitive and base design. And they found a way to ruin it. You would think a Mechazoid Hydreigon would be cool. You, you, you would, you would. And dragons are ancient by nature. So when there is a future concept of Hydreigon, it's no longer going to be a dragon type. That's why even Roaring Moon is not a dragon type. I'm pretty sure none of these even Paradox mons are dragons, right? I don't think a single one is. It's cooked. They probably took off the scales, whatever. It's a robot. It's cooked. So I could rant about this mod all day. It resembles a certain Pokemon introduced in a paranormal magazine described as the offspring of a Hydreigon that fell in love with a robot. This guy fucked the robot. I get it, bro. I get it, bro. I was on full cope thinking, oh man, the stats are somewhat good. He can't be that bad. No, he is, dude. He's, he, he better be in UU. Is he in UU? Iron Thorns, it's just, again, you can't go wrong with T-Tar. You just cannot. Iron Thorns is literally him. But what sucks is that they also found a way to make a worse version of T-Tar. Uh, because it's Rock Electric, which is not bad because it gets the buff off Sandstorm and it also gets a buff off Electric Terrain. So technically speaking, it's not bad, but like Iron, okay, and it also gets Dragon Dance. The problem is that a Electric, you don't get the world's best physical move coverage. Like, okay, it's Wild Charge and Thunder Punch. That's it. If they think of like Plasma Fists, it just does not. 
Yeah, Titar's also better because Titar is a fundamentally more bulky Pokemon. But Iron Thorns is definitely a downgrade because, you know, now you're a quad beat to Earthquake. And uh, honestly, feels worse because everybody gets Earthquake. Not everybody gets like close combat, Drain Punch. While Sword and Shield gave a lot of Mons close combat, Scarlet and Violet removed a bunch of Mons during close combat while also giving some other Mons close combat. I'm sorry. I don't like, I don't like Gimme Ghoul. I'm sorry, guys. I don't. I didn't like it when they first showed it. I was quiet though because if you openly said you did not like this mod on Twitter when it was first dropped, you were getting hate. People would call you boring and unfun and like, I have Quack Quavel in fucking S tier, bro. I'm not boring, but Goldengo? Peak. Goldengo is like actually peak. This mod, typing wise, fire. Design wise, fire. It's an NFT version of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I'm sorry, the Applejack Cinnamon guy, the Jamaican guy. So sorry that they put you in the NFT market, man. That shit sucks. I'm sorry, bro. I mean, also, as well, too, he's busted his shit, bro. He's so strong. Make it rain? Go steal? He's fucking nuts, dude. I know all the people from the UK are like, oh, he's a cheese man. Okay, well, let's relax, okay? Because, like, we're not in the UK right now, okay? We're not. So, all right, let's just calm that down, all right? I know we're going to all the other days. We'll do, we'll do, Roaring Moon and Iron Valent right now. Roaring Moon is actually peak, uh, and Iron Valent is actually uh, also peak. These mons are literally two massive fan favorite mons, both being Galadin and Slash Gardevoir because it's a fusion of Gardevoir and Galadin. It's literally a fusion. And then Roaring Moon is Salamis. I'm sorry, man. Wo Xian, I, I love. I love. I love her design. I love it. I love all four of them because they're just they're just strictly based off like. Chaos and ruinage and like anger and despair. It's fucking edgy as fuck. I love it. Shin Pao is him. Let me get this out of the way. Shin Pao and Chiyu, literally them. Ting Lu, I also stupid love Ting Lu. I know. I know. I know. But I love Ting Lu. Competitive wise, one of the most obnoxious amounts to face. Up there with Dondozo. But I love it. Design wise, it's fire as fuck, dude. Oh, their entire lore. Look at this lore, dude. Dude, look at this lore. The, the, literally the most badass thing they've ever done in Pokemon, dude. The hatred of those who perished by the sword long ago has clad itself in snow and became a Pokemon? They're the opposite of Tapus. Tapus are heroic and they're good guys. Yay. And these guys only exist to fuck shit up. Um, but yeah, all of them, I, I like them a lot. Obviously, I'm, I'm gonna do it. I don't care. I, I did it. I did it. I don't care. I did it. You know what? Now that I look at this, it's very accurate to what I think of this game. Like, well, I think Maridon is better. But they're both they're both clean. I love them a lot. All right, guys. This is the tier list. What are we thinking, guys? What are we thinking? A lot of people, I'd be surprised. The only people I can see disagreeing with this list, Orthworm fans, Mousehold fans, all all two Screaming Tail fans, and the, the entire 35 population community at the parent-teacher conference committee that are the Dun Sparse fans. Oh, and the one Spite Ops guy that has a Spite Ops for OU Twitter account. That's it. I, I literally cannot see anybody disagreeing with this list. 